You know what, folks? Uh, I love reading these comments, I swear, because whenever it's Karen-focused, I know I'm going to get some interesting, interesting dialogue from you all. Um, sometimes going back and forth with each other, sometimes agreeing with me. Even when you disagree, I do feel like, you know, I'm going to get a mouthful from somebody in the comments, but I think we can all agree when it comes down to it, but Miss Lisa needs to come back. Now, I know there's a thing such as, you know, actor availability, perhaps at the time of filming a certain season of Sisters, a uh, set actor, actor or actress is unavailable because they are working on another project and you know, or maybe they're too far away from Atlanta to make it, whatever the scenario. But I feel like it is a major disservice to the Karen character to not have her mom show up once again, especially with everything going on. Uh, first of all, potentially being pregnant. I mean, it's funny how she's more than willing to tell the men she's been sleeping with and all of her girlfriends and Zach's girlfriend about it, but... Mm, wouldn't you want to call your mom to let her know what's going on? I know that in season one, after dealing with Bean, I believe Fawn's brother who tried to kill Karen, she said, hey, I'm going to go camping for a while in the woods until things kind of blow over. Um, Miss Lisa, a lot of shit has gone down since you've been gone. So I feel like she should come back. Now, I think the biggest argument here is that, well, Jeremy, the way I see it, if Tyler writes this character to come back, she's obviously going to put her daughter straight, which will lead to a lot of the drama and conflict being either resolved or calmed down. And I get it because it's an easy argument to say that Miss Lisa will be the instant fix button. You know, it's like, hey, let's fix all the problems, but then how's the show going to go on? I think for the sake of the Karen character and giving Ebony more substantial material, which again, I never fault the actors because whenever there's a Karen scene, I mean, she's so unlikable, but you got to give props to Ebony's acting chops due to the fact that she's playing such a toxic character. And it's a damn shame because I know that she's been divisive since season one, especially how she's talks down to men, specifically Zach. But Ebony has always been able to bring out the best in the material she was given. But I feel like, you know, how long are we going to just have her doing this? Sure, she gave that half ass apology to Fatima, which I've already done a video on and posted, you know, yesterday. But I feel like Ebony even said it herself during the after show you know, Karen find true love and happiness. And I feel like if you want Aaron to still be in the picture, because at this point, I feel like Aaron is a character who at first was like, oh man, this dude's mysterious. I mean, is he really who he says he is? But now you just have him being a simp. And I feel like the only reason he's still in the show is to be the, okay, is he the baby daddy? Or is Zach the baby daddy? That's literally it. But I feel like if Miss Lisa's came along, you know, I saw a post in the sister's Facebook group about how, you know, when you think about it, I wonder if Karen will be mad at her mother because going down the timeline, she is indirectly responsible for introducing Zach to Fatima. Miss Lisa was the one that sat down with Zach at Danny's apartment, I believe. This was when Zach was like at his lowest low and, you know... Karen had chose Aaron because I have watched some of the scenes, not full episodes, but certain scenes from key episodes in season one. And yeah, uh, there were a number of times where Karen flat out told Zach, you got to move out. I need somebody who is going to support me, not just, you know, be there for me after they, uh, after they came. And then, you know, when we're having sex and then that's it. I need somebody who's going to be there for me emotionally. It's not even about the money and yada, yada, yada. Not in one of those scenarios did she ever say, Zach, just tell me you don't want to be with me no more. Tell me that you don't love me no more so I can move on. She was more than willing to move on without him. Hell, even at the beginning of season two, because Zach was trying to use like, I saved your life. I took that knife for you and you're just going to choose this guy. Okay, so basically... Miss Lisa talked to Zach about how, look, you need to get your life together. It's like, well, you, yeah, I got a record. That's some bullshit. That's an excuse, you know, uh, black men want to use to 
uh, I guess you could say excuse them from advancing forward in life. Just because you have a criminal record doesn't mean you can't move forward. You just have to look for the right opportunities. Enter Chris, her boyfriend, who has a record like Zach. He was doing construction and he saw like, you know what? I put all this work into it, all these late, you know, these hard hours. And I just realized, you know, all of us construction workers are busting our ass. But look at the people who sign the checks, the people who own the properties that are being renovated and whatnot. They're the ones making the big bucks. So I need to do the same thing. And that's how he came up with Shame Breakers. And he gave that info to Zach and well, moving forward into season two, I believe it was the um, scenario where after Karen had chose Aaron in front of all the other girls. He went to the chain breakers meeting distraught and then he got hit by the uh, Fatima's car. Which again, I don't blame her. Zach was the one who was randomly driving. I mean, well, riding his bike through the parking lot, not looking where he was going. Because Fatima had her eyes straight. She was on her car phone. And yeah, she was literally driving straight ahead in a parking lot slowly. And then Zach just ran in front of her and got hit. And then of course, you know... We know what happens next. These two got together. So I wonder what kind of talk she would have with her daughter because her conversation is what sent Zach on the, you know, straight line or on the path to straight and narrow, earning money with chain breakers. And, you know, Zach decided to really push forward and earn some money. And on his own labor, his own choice, he went above and beyond at the airport job and then that's how he got the stock tip that's no fatima didn't do that miss lisa didn't do that danny karen no that was zach busting his ass you know like even stopping that plane so he can get tony's like laptop and everything off of it so basically um miss lisa i feel would give a talk to her daughter about stop making a fool out of yourself because it's funny how she had that conversation telling you know zach about how you know what, well, you need to do something for yourself. You need to better yourself. And then I guess maybe that's what my daughter is looking for, looking for in you. It's like, she's, I, I need to go back and rewatch the scene. I haven't watched that scene in quite a while, but I think it was something along the lines of Zach wanting Karen, but it's like, well, Zach, when are you going to move? When are you going to mature and grow up and do better for yourself? Because that's probably one of the reasons why my daughter chose that preacher guy over you because she got tired of waiting. So then I hope when she talks to her daughter, it's like, well, hey, you told Zach all the times that he wasn't. And if, okay, because Zach randomly popped up at, you know, Karen's after his conversation with uh, Chris, even though I still have no idea how that makes sense continuity wise. Cause I thought like, wait, why would Zach even go over to Karen's at that point? But in any case, um, I don't think that Zach ever told Karen that her mom and him had that discussion because I think that would be pretty interesting, you know? And as a result, you know, I could see Karen like, Mama, this is all your fault. And then Miss Lee's like, Little Heffa, you're going to listen to me when I talk to you. And then, you know, I, I, I really feel like that's what she needs. Uh, it, it's not, sometimes it's not about a man, you know, to make you feel better. It's not about a woman to make you feel better. Sometimes you just need one of your parents. Well, in this case, your mama to sit your butt down and tell you what's what. Instead of running around like a fool, you know, embarrassing yourself, making yourself look like a fool. Because believe it or not, I feel like, I know this might be divisive, but I feel like Miss Lisa and Fatima might actually hit it off. <laughs> Just because, you know, they're both strong women who know what they want. And um, they got that thug loving, you know, of course, you know, ex-cons being Chris and Zach respectively. But um I'm just saying, and I would love to see Chris come back if nothing but like a one-off cameo where not necessarily like a competition, but imagine if there's some sort of like realtor convention or something along those lines. And, you know, Zach and his like, you know, refurbishing property could stand toe to toe with chain breakers. And it's not even again, it's not even about competition, but it's like Chris could be like, you know what? This is what I like to see people who start in chain breakers and they don't stay there forever, but they branch off and do their own thing. So they can be standing as equals. And then I, I, imagine that being the catalyst for Miss Lisa coming back. You know, let's say there's like a buy, you know, a property convention in town and, you know, all the local people who are in, interested in buying and restoring property show up. And then that's how we meet Chris again. And then Miss Lisa's there to support her man. And then she's like, Zach, what are you doing here? I think that will be awesome. Remember, Jake says he does that too. So, you know, you know, Jake and Zach, buddy, buddy, they're new friends. They could show up together. Uh, then, you know, we got Chris and Miss Lisa. And then, you know, from there, they catch up with each other's events about how 
So how's Karen doing? Uh, yeah, well, we haven't spoken and so and so. And then that's how Miss Lisa ends up talking to Karen. And then Tyler, I just gave you an idea. Sister season five, bring back uh, Miss Lisa and Chris, just saying. But uh, that's all I got to say for this video. Uh, what do you think? Do you think Miss Lisa should come back? I, I, She definitely should. She really should. Because I feel like if nothing else, that will get Karen to think somewhat straight. And I will want to, um, you know, I really want to see um, how she will react to you know Karen and Aaron um because you know how she didn't like Aaron in season one but again I really wish you would come back to set her kids straight so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below go ahead and hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video follow me on social media links are in the description below hit subscribe and hit the bell icon and select all that way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel